Come on, you red kids. You're going to make me late. Today on my Alberta job, we got a sinking pee tank. We're gonna go out and slip an 8x20 under its legs. And then we're gonna backhaul a genie back to Rocky Mountain House. And I'm gonna demonstrate the scissor neck trailer. Someone asked me about it, so here we go. I'm gonna present it. <laughs> Here, just go back, 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 back.
brought us a Whopper today. We brought out an 8x20 because the P-Tank was sinking. We got old Zoomy here to take back to Rocky with a couple tarps. It's been pretty quiet lately, haven't really worked in probably almost a week. Oh, my boomer's twisted. It's been pretty quiet. Sure it is kind of all over the world. But we'll keep plunking away. Day by day, minute by minute. Gotta stay positive. Truck's still clean. Had to stuff her in the mud to deal with the P tank because it's right by the flare stack. Looking half ass good. somebody from a different country but scissor nets how they work and a beaver flip beaver tail which I don't have the flip beaver tail but it's pretty easy to describe it's on hinges and it uh, flips over it's just kind of something you can't really do on your own with just the winch I've tried it some people say they have been successful maybe different types of trailers do but mine does not so this is the winch Engage. This is what I like to do. You can set the brakes and back into it. It doesn't really matter. I'll just winch in so I don't have to uh, make sure it's going to be easy to pull the fifth wheel, right? Or you can set the brakes and back into it. And then we'll go outside. So the leaves are just coming out. A little bit of snow packed into her today, but depending on how good you maintain your rig. So those are the locks. I got packed full of snow today. Oh boy. Perfect. See, it's got snow all over. 
that's that. Hold the fifth wheel. And it just scissors and hinges nice and flat. There's a couple different styles. You can get ones that have really thick for uh, neck extensions and stuff, but this is a neck set for a triaxle truck. It's got the nice thin neck, which is good for all this loading and unloading of this stuff. But even today, I had to winch this on because it was icy and frozen. Trying to warm up. Cold start. <laughs> trombone's almost a perfect invention you got one trailer that will act as a high boy for long stuff uh, it's low for your high stuff you gotta haul you can get uh, booster applications just the same as you can on uh, high boys or anything and then uh, you can get a trombone for long tall stuff make sure you get a scissor neck that's compatible with the height of your truck some can be higher some can be lower there's a lot of different variables so always make sure that you're getting the right one all these ones that we got at cypress are pretty much just generic they're not custom tailored like at road train all of our trailers were custom specifically built for certain trucks which is really nice because you gotta squeak under some stuff you want that extra couple of inches when you're driving down the highway under overpasses once you got a scissor back in, sometimes you might have to back into it. Ching! Should I get that snow out of there? Pinch point. Oh, dude! That's pretty much her. <laughs> 